girl Liz here. I am out in beautiful Malibu, California. I am here with my friend Stephanie. She is a career coach. She helps women, business people, negotiate higher salaries, how to be successful in business and their lives. And today she is going to give us nine tips to success. We all could use a little fine tuning, you know. It's really good to have an expert here. Um, can you talk about some of the things that you've done in like your previous jobs? I remember reading that you were a hiring manager for like really big companies and stuff like that. So can you talk, tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so I'm just going to say that Liz is a super expert, successful herself too, um, <laughs> Thank for sure. Thank you. <laughs> for sure. Now, I used to work for um, financial institutions, so I did a lot of recruitment for Goldman Sachs or JP Morgan Chase. Oh, I know those I know those people. And then entertainment companies like Sony and Amazon and some startups, and so I just did the hiring for them. Let's just jump right into it. Awesome. So I would say my first tip is to invest. If you are you know, looking to start a business or you know, make your hobby a business, definitely invest in a company or a coach that's done it before you. For me, um, I could have been still dealing with some issues with my company for year one, year two, year three, if I hadn't uh, hired a business coach to help me. And it's only been maybe two years or a year and a half, and I jumped through a lot of hurdles by having that coach in my corner versus trying to do it on my own. Like, you know, I work on film and photography, so I obviously have to invest in equipment. As I start to progress more, I would like to think about starting my own company. Like, what kind of person invests in, you mean just like in your yeah. gear, in your tools, or? I would say for filmmaking and photography, definitely invest in your tools and invest in yourself in terms of time. So making sure that you're treating it like a job and investing your time in you know, taking photos and following other filmmakers and things like that. Specifically, um, what I meant in, in terms of investing is if you want to start a company, maybe you have an amazing app that you want to develop and you know other people that are you know, business coaches for that specific line of business. So, what gets it? Mark Zuckerberg. Say for example, he's like, hey, I can give you business tips and it costs you five grand to work with me for a year, which would never happen. <laughs> I would invest five grand and work oh, with him for so a year. Right. You learn things so much faster. So for example, in my case, it took me a while to figure out who my client was. And if I had done it on my own, maybe I, through trial and error, it would have taken me two years or three oh, years so right. to figure out my client and to figure out how to speak to her and to write copy. Versus now I have a business coach and they've been where I've been and they can say, hey, this is how you find your client. This is how you yeah. write your copy. Awesome. So next tip would be to focus. So I'll give you just a real clear cut example. I um, really need that. I'm not good at focusing at all. I took four months and literally spoke to no one. I just recently moved to San Francisco. The friends that I made that I love dearly, I wasn't able to talk to them. I didn't go out because I was so focused on paying my rent and starting this company that I did not go out. I did not hit anyone up. I literally was just working. Yeah, that's so true. So yeah. like focus can also be kind of like discipline and yeah. the same one. Like you have to be focused and disciplined. No watching reality TV, no watching YouTube videos about politics. Okay, I'm talking to myself right now, but anyway. Um, I would say you, you can do a little bit of that. Like don't, you know, there's, you can't really. Like, Not for three hours a day, but no. <laughs> so the next point is pivot quickly. So for me, when I first started out, I focused on confidence training, which is a love and it's embedded in the work that I do now. But I ended up pivoting because that's not what my potential customer wanted from me. And that's not where I can monetize easily and where my expertise lies. So now I help women get salaries because that's what I know how to do. And I also inject them with confidence versus only doing confidence. It just seems like you're saying like, don't be afraid to change direction yeah. according to what the market asks for yeah, and what for you're sure. good at. I like that. So the next is sadness. So we all go through disappointments, especially if you're an entrepreneur or creative. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, she's talking to the choir right now, but go ahead. You get told no all the time. You can be lonely, you can be siloed. So it's real, real easy to feel sad for yourself, to feel pity. Yeah. And my advice is just to take that amount of time, maybe give yourself a time limit to feel it and move on. 
you at the end of the day are in control of your feelings and your emotions. You know, you're creating your realities with how you feel. So give yourself a time limit and move on. What would be a good way to like handle the sadness of like maybe a slow moment, business is not booming and like all that kind of stuff. Okay, so that's a two-parter. So with business, <laughs> business is not booming, definitely um, be able to predict, predict that. So you set aside funds to, you know, we were talking about this a little bit earlier. That's my advice to anybody watching this young or old save your money so that's one and then for two is if you're feeling sad give yourself the grace to feel sad i don't know what your life is but for me i shut down those feelings really quickly like my life is under my control and if i allow myself to feel sad for an hour that's like really detrimental like i don't have that much time like to live to allow an hour to affect my future by my feelings hour Some so i go I days i just like shut it off like I, I i hear the thought happening in my mind and i just shut it off and i'm and i don't allow myself to feel it so just try to be just cognizant of what you're feeling and maybe like start doing something positive to like take your mind off it go work out or yeah start working on another smaller project doing some art or something like that yeah so the next tip is to uh have cash capital in the beginning and then or as much as you can and then making use of credit so not writing out and getting a credit card immediately but you know if you're a little bit more mature and just you know being an entrepreneur and managing your money rest in peace to my followers that are in credit card debt right now sorry guys yeah so just try to make use of your money initially create a budget like be really intentional with how you're spending your money know where it's going and then talk to like go to a bank and talk to a banker and talk to them about your behaviors and if you it would be a good idea for you to get like a business credit card so the next tip is don't compare yourself yeah so both of us we have competitors in our field and literally when I start looking at my competitors I get sad so honestly like if you have an Instagram and you have to be on it every day unfollow all of your competitors they don't <laughs> exist to you literally follow like 20 people that you look up to and you respect and that is it I actually did this about a year and a half ago I unfollowed every celebrity because it's like just <laughs> just Instagram in general is just about stunting yeah. and so like watching a celebrity stunt it just feels like even makes you feel even worse about yourself I started following like I don't know some well-known people but it's because they were doing something that I wanted to do I'll follow surfer chicks because they're doing something positive something that I want to do wow I want to get out there and do that like I not feel like dang like and I know people who don't even work in this industry who go on Instagram and they're like I get it go on Instagram and I get depressed but one thing I want people to understand as someone who creates content none of this stuff is real okay <laughs> It's just for show, okay? So don't compare yourself to people. There's so much editing stuff out there. I have all of it, okay? I have all the editing tools. I'm really good at it. I've edited some of these people before myself, okay? It's not real. Stan, your timing is not gonna happen the same for everybody because everybody else starts at different places you know like okay so the next one is celebrate and document wins i actually have a secret instagram that everything good like anytime i win or do something that i'm proud of i put a picture of it on that instagram because i need to remember those moments i feel like that is brilliant so i feel like we always remember the bad times write down anything that happens that's good for you that you're proud of so maybe you speak to your first client because no one else is going to remember this except for you okay so the next one is um don't follow people you want to be like so um, this is kind of what i was saying <laughs> like in my rant about not comparing yourself on instagram clearly that one triggered me maybe it sounds silly or basic but just don't follow people don't listen to people that haven't done what you want to do or want to be so the last tip is do not treat it like a hobby so I think any new business owner entrepreneur or someone that's doing a hobby and making monetizing it they will start out this way they'll post when they want to and like you know work on things that are like not money making activities but like maybe fixing their their logo for like eight hours every day versus like trying to get clients basically just keep that in mind you're gonna go through that growth where you're gonna treat it like a hobby a little bit but just yeah. as you do keep it in mind that like this is not a hobby anymore this is a business so invest in it when you invest money in it it makes you like go super hard have a schedule treat it like a job etc etc this reminds me of 
the that saying of taking pride in your work. While I understand that not everybody is cut out for, I wanna be the manager, the boss, the queen of the world, queen of the business, you know, everybody doesn't have, that's not their goal in life. I really wanna tell people to make sure that you do take pride in the, in the work that you do or else it's gonna be really hard to go to work and be happy. And I know that sometimes you may think that you don't want to be a boss or a manager or something on the surface level, but sometimes having a purpose and a set like responsibility, people relying on you, definitely can bring you joy in life. Don't be afraid of having more responsibility, you know, like a higher position or, you know, having to know more, learn more, train to be something at work. It's only gonna lead to better things. You're gonna learn more, you're gonna make more money, and you get to boss people around. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, more that purpose. last one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. Please leave a comment, rate and subscribe, let me know what you think. If you have any advice, if any of this stuff touched you in any way, please let me know. Stephanie, where can thank we you. find your information? You can find me on Instagram, stephanie.im.heap. You can find me at soulworkingselfies.com, on LinkedIn, Soulworking Sel Six Figures. All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Bye. Peace out.